First, let's get to our Kelly Hesedal in Mission Valley with the latest on the race for San Diego mayor. I spoke to Mayor Todd Gloria as well as uh, candidate Larry Turner today. In fact, uh, Mayor Gloria is here right now in Mission Valley for the ribbon cutting for the new River Park. Now, I talked to Turner and Kearney Mesa. Both are looking forward to November. However, now that it appears this race is set, a lawsuit challenging Turner's residency is back in the spotlight. There's nothing to it. I live in San Diego. I lived in San Diego then. So, uh, you know, this is just a, one of those little tricks that they're going to keep pulling for the next eight months. They just try to trick the voters because the voters, if they really get out and look around and, and smell around, they, they know that the city needs change. So they got to trick you. And so last month, the judge said, let's let Turner remain on the ballot for the primary and just see if he even advances to November. And now that it appears he is headed to a runoff with Mayor Todd Gloria, uh, this all comes back into play. Now, the lawsuit alleges Turner did not live in San Diego full time for the required 30 days before he filed papers in December to run for mayor, uh, that he switched his voting registration to downtown San Diego to his campaign manager's address in July of 2023, and then filed paperwork in December saying he lived in Ocean Beach, but that it wasn't allegedly uh, his primary residence. Now, Turner says this is just dirty politics at play. He says this is Mayor Gloria's people who are behind this. The mayor disputes this. Here's what he told me. I have no involvement in that. I don't see that as helpful uh, in the campaign. I mean, we are focused on my record and explaining that to San Diegans. And when San Diegans hear what I've done over the last four years under the most difficult of circumstances, they will support my reelection. So whatever those external efforts are, I have no connection with them. I have no involvement with it, and I'm not paying any attention to it. And a court date has been set for March 29th. Uh, Turner says it's possible that the judge could throw this lawsuit out altogether. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. Now, if it turns out that he is not eligible to run in the mayoral race, uh, his spot would go to the third place candidate, which at this point appears to be Genevieve Jones Wright. Kelly Hesedal, CBS 8.